When did I become serious? Uh, I don't know. I think I, I, in many ways, I've been a serious person all my life since I was a kid. You know, thankfully, I'm married to somebody who calls me on it every day, and um, and and with my son Gabriel and my wife Barbara, they pull out this other part. But you know, I'm still. I mean, I'm a, I try to deal with serious topics. Um, or I, I want to deal with serious topics. I deal with them, I think that we should be dealing with them regardless of whatever we're doing. But I feel we're not dealing with them enough. Um, you know, but I'm still, you know, I mean, one of the only guys that I know that has a, you know, pet rooster in their kitchen. As these drawings based on their description show, we know what the fermenters look like. We know what the tanks, pumps, compressors, and other parts look like. We know how they fit together. We know how they work. And we know a great deal about the platforms on which they are mounted. As shown in this diagram, these factories can be concealed easily. Well, you know, I mean, the Phantom truck is, 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 is I think, two, two things, you know, for me. One of them is, uh, is uh, I think, the idea for the Phantom truck actually came right as I was listening to Colin Powell's speech. The construction of the images, the construction of the PowerPoint, uh, the sound, uh, you know, what's, what's in the presentation, what's not in the presentation, you know. And I was really kind of enthralled uh, at, that, at that moment of it. It was important that it be in the dark. It's kind of like important that, you know, did you, you know, in, in the art world, when you go to these big shows, is did you see so and so's uh, painting? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I didn't see it. I must have missed it. Oh, you should go see it. You know. And so with the truck, it was further complicated. You know. So you could have two individuals in the same room, and you could say, "Do you see it?" Goes, no, no, I don't see it. There's nothing. No, no, it's there. It's it's right there. Or did you see it? No, I missed it. I knew the thing had to be a gesture. Every moment that we talked about it as an object and how it looked and so forth, I had to remember, it's a gesture. It's really about hiding the truck. It's about making the truck, but hiding it. You know, you're only making it in order to hide it. It's very complicated because the truck that was in the PowerPoint was then supposedly found a month later and claimed as evidence for you know, as, uh, as evidence, you know, as finding sort of evidence. But then shortly after, two weeks later, the truck, even by, you know, U.S. experts, it was understood that it wasn't a truck that could produce biological sort of weapons. So the truck at Documenta, Phantom Truck, the sculpture, is a kind of hybrid between the PowerPoint rendering, the real truck that isn't that truck, but was presented as evidence for that truck, and therefore, ultimately, the phantom truck becomes the real truck. It's the only truthful truck in regards to the, the, the thing. It's the only one that exists in regards to the speech, because the, the other one found in the desert is not it. And the rendering, well, that's just a rendering. And so you get into this problem here of, again, once again, it's sort of like, wow, what happens when you fabricate a fabrication? To a certain level, it's still a fabrication, but on a certain level, you're making the fabrication real. And so the lying and the truth start to get mixed up, and you start to get mixed up in it. You know, you start to, even as an artist, you, you start to sort of collude with the problems, right, uh, of the politics. But you should, as an artist, you should get messy. You should... You should get dirty. You're, you, can, you should never be clean and pure.